Welcome back to Yoga Express, your personal stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. And this yoga fitness program is taped in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We air five days a week, Monday through Friday, 1.30 in the afternoon, on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. Before we move on, I would like to introduce you to our wonderful guests. Kenny, we are off camera. Do you want to stop it? Okay. I'd like to introduce you to our guests. All right, good. We're back. We'll stay there, Kenny. We don't want... I know you're flying solo today, Kenny. We really appreciate Kenny Ryan is our director. Very sporting. He's out there holding the fort by himself today. So, Kenny, we're good. We're good with this, uh, with this camera shot. This is great. I'd like to introduce you to our wonderful participants one more time. Yesterday, we had the same group with us. We workshopped the sun salutation sequence three times. Today, we're going to take you through one ailment-specific sequence. Before we do that, to my immediate left, we have Jamie Avery. Jamie is a producer here. Jamie, a little more about yourself, if you will, to our viewers, because every day we have new viewers. We have a few more, and we want to attract a lot more viewers. So. Go ahead. Uh, well, so I am a producer. I'm a journalist. Um, I'm working on covering a few projects now, as I told you, um, right. that take farmland waste, a technology that converts it into ethanol, which is a product that uh, replaces gasoline. And right. it's a great pro it's a great project because it recycles something we would throw away, farm waste. Right. In the past, right. they used corn to make ethanol. Now we're using you. the waste, the farm waste. And um, it also burns clean, so it's it's great for our carbon footprint, reducing carbon emissions. It's kind of complicated. You know, I, I remember how animated you were telling us about your project yesterday, and you haven't lost that excitement. And it's wonderful. You haven't lost the passion. That's great. Whatever you do in life, if you have passion for what you're doing, it's going to take you really far, and you will be able to reach out to a lot more people. So it doesn't just apply to our programs. It applies to anything you do in your life. To my immediate right, we have Josiane Hurd. Josiane, tell us a little more. I do Anything a lot of uh, physical activities, but also mental activities. And between all of them, yoga is my link. Even and playing Jos bridge. Even playing bridge. Even when you play bridge. That's right, you because play before bridge. I play, yeah, before I play, I, I do some, uh, a lot of breathing. And right. breathing keep my concentration better. To, uh, okay, uh, right. So it helps you stay oh, focused. Yeah, focus. Absolutely. So you can do a lot of yoga, and then you're totally centered and you really knocked oh, yes. everyone out out there at the bridge table. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back, Josie, and really appreciate it. We have Talisa Michela in the green t-shirt. Talisa has been with us in several episodes before. Please tell us a little more. Well, I'm a, an inspiring actor. Mm -hmm. I have a project coming up that will be viewed here in the next couple of months. Right. Um, I can't go in details about it until like the of editing course. and time is correct. I'm excited. I getting my foot out there and it going over my other projects is really exciting to be going forward and I'm really happy to be here on this show. We're excited for you, Talisa, and we can't wait to show some clips that you've been in. As soon as you're ready, let us know and we'll show viewers a little more about the kind of work you've been doing so far. So thank you for sharing that. We just It is just that little bit enough to create excitement and anticipation. Uh, about watching your episode or your program whenever you're ready with it let us know so we're just waiting for it awesome. thank you for coming back to Lisa we're going to take our viewers through one ailment specific sequence today before we do that I want you to know you have a lot of support from our show as well as from my website www.yogaexpress.com and a blog yogaexpress.blogspot.com you also have a fridge magnet and we are a little short of crew today, so you will not get a close-up, but just trust me, this is a fridge magnet. If you stick this on your fridge, it's going to stay. 
We also have a postcard, both of them with the 48 plus sequence. Plus we have a book called Yoga Secrets. All of these you will get only if you come on our show. And if you don't think you have time to come on our show for some time, go to the website. You still have a lot of tips out there. Are we ready? Yes, we Okay, are. which episode? I don't think we even talked about which episode we want to do. So, do you want... Actually, Jamie, you haven't been with us in a while. So, is there any particular ailment-specific sequence? Or do you want, would you rather do all the standing transitions? Three yeah, postures. Yeah, yeah. Shall we try that? I'm I don't sure, think you've yeah. ever... Okay, let's do that. We did a few ailment-specific sequences in the last couple of weeks. So... This one is dedicated to Jamie. We're going to do transitions. So transitions are, and we're still going from the 48 plus sequence. We're going to move three postures, maybe two, three, anything that flows one after the other. We're going to try and move one into the other. When it comes to the balance, I should stay a little away from Josie Ann because I know she's going to beat me up one of these days. Okay, <laughs> not to worry. Josie Ann, we're both close to each other. We'll help each other. Let's stand up. Let's do transitions today. We're going to start with a standing posture, so we'll talk you through postures 1 through 3, 4 through 6, we'll move on that way. Okay, heels are together, very nice. You notice Jamie is doing very nice deep exhales. She's preparing for a fantastic workout. Well done, Jamie. <laughs> Remember, inhale happens. You want to consciously keep exhaling because that helps us detox. Heels are together. Let's tag ourselves. Jamie, you and Josie may want to come forward. Talisa, do you want to come back? Talisa and I are going to come back just a little bit. Heels together, toes slightly apart, palms by your side. Inhale, bring your palms in front of your chest. We're going to take our arms all the way overhead. Inhale, bring the arms up. Hasta Uttana. Exhale, fold from the hip. Remember, we're going to transition, so keep going. We're going to inhale, bring our arms up to shoulder height, exhale, bend at the knees, Utkatasana. Inhale, exhale and bend at the knees. Utkatasana, also me, Utkat means thunderbolt, we're going to hold that. If the pressure is too much on your knees, lean back just a little bit, ease off a little bit. Inhale, let's come up, exhale, release the arm, arms by your side. Now remember, that's a transition of three postures from Hasta Uttana, Pada Hasta, and then Utka. Let's all turn to the left. We're going to go into three other postures. We're going to transition. So transition means we try to go smoothly one into the other. And it doesn't feel very difficult in the beginning. The challenge is when we do the balance postures. Bring your legs out about three to four feet apart, depending on how tall you are. If you're very tall, you may want to go out a little further. I think we're going to try and be safe, so whatever you do, make sure you put your brakes on first, make sure you get keep your feet nice and secure, and then turn the right foot out, so the heel of your right foot aligns, uh, is at a T with the sole of your left foot. <coughs> Here's what we're going to do, we're going to go into Trikon, Virabhadra Kona, and Virabhadra and Virabhadra Kona, one after the other, so inhale the arms up to shoulder height, look to your right, because your right foot is out. Lean forward just a little bit to the right first. This time we're not just not bending the knees just yet. Exhale, dip the right palm in front of the right ankle. Take the left palm all the way up and look up at your raised hand. Now when you're looking up, make sure you open up your chest. Now we're going to continue. We're going to transition into Veera Bhadra, Brave Warrior. So what we're going to do, we're going to inhale. Before we do it, we're going to tell you, talk you through it. Inhale, bring both your arms up to shoulder height, then you exhale and bend your right knee. Inhale. No, that's fine. Exhale, bend the right knee. Now, keep going, keep transitioning, keep exhaling, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle, take the right left arm all the way overhead. If you want a little more of a challenge, take your left arm right over. So palm will be facing the floor, and when you open up in this manner, you will feel a beautiful, very intense stretch in your obliques on the left side. Do all of us feel that? Mm -hmm. yeah. so yes. Doesn't it feel great? And open up your chest, take your shoulder back. Let's inhale, come back, keep your knees bent, arms up. Now, release the right knee, turn the right foot in, turn the left foot out. We're gonna face away from the camera for just a few moments. 
Now, with your arm, left arm is extended, left foot is turned out, so you turn to look at the left palm. Now, we're going to lean to the left just a little bit to get that extra leverage out of our body. Exhale and dip your torso. So dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Take the right arm all the way up, both palms face forward. If you feel this stretch is not doing enough for you, you may want to wiggle your right foot further away from you. So that way you should feel more of an intense stretch on your adductor muscles, the inside of your left thigh. Hold. Now we're going to inhale, bring our arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Exhale and bend the left knee. Veera Bhadra, Brave Warrior. Keep exhaling, dip your torso, dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Right arm goes all the way. I'm going to keep going and take your right arm all the way overhead. It needs a very uh, relaxed rotator cuff to be able to take it all the way, but it's also a wonderful, wonderful uh, release right there in the shoulder joint. Hold, inhale. Bring your arm back, right arm and the left arm. Come up to shoulder height, keep inhaling. Release the left leg, turn your left foot in, wiggle your feet a little closer, exhale and release. You may notice we've done two short transitions of three postures each. Now we'll take you through a back bend and a forward bend. That's one transition. And then we'll do a few balances in just a moment, just a few moments after that. Now we're going to do an intense back bend. It's called Tiryang Asan. Tiryang is reverse inversion. This time let's turn to the right. Now this is going to be a back bend, so it will be followed by a forward bend as well. We're going to stagger ourselves. Josian, do you, how do you want to do it? Yeah, come forward. Notice Josian has socks on. She's very smart. She's just playing tricks on you. She's got rubber dots under her socks. <laughs> so be smart about it. Be mindful of your body. And if you've got rubber dots, it gives you more traction. So make sure you, you're safe. Now, bring your feet out about eight inches approximately, six to eight inches apart. If you're feeling very tired today, you may want to bring your feet further out. We're all going to be at mid, but if you're feeling very strong, you may want to keep both your feet close to each other, nice and parallel. We're going to bring it out about six to eight inches apart. Make sure that your brakes are in, so that means the toes uh, turn to turn in to face each other place your palms on your buttocks now you want to push your elbows back try to meet make your elbows meet each other it's not going to happen for me anytime in the next 100 years but I'm going to try that will help bring your chest out it'll open up your chest <clears throat> Tiryang Asan so we're going to go into an inversion backwards so we're going to inhale first inhale once the top of your head goes past midpoint. Start exhaling, glide your hands down the back of your thighs. Bend your knees if you need to. I know I do and I'm gonna bend. Whatever you do, keep that connection. Do not suspend your hands in midair. Inhale, come up. Exhale and relax. Bring your hands down. This time, we're going to stay facing this side of the studio. Bring your feet out, bring your legs out about a little further than you normally would, a little further apart than the triangle posture. So bring your legs out three and a half to four feet. I need to bring it out, and the reason we do that, that's right. <laughs> the reason we bring our legs out as far apart as possible, take a guess, Jamie. So what do you think? Further? My, that's right. No, that's absolutely right. Yes, it sounds whimsical, but that's absolutely right. The farther out your legs are, your feet are from each other, the closer you are to the floor. So it's easier to touch the crown of your head to the floor. Well done. You haven't been with us in a while. You're doing great. <laughs> that's the ap uh, approach. That's the attitude we want. We want you to have a fun approach to whatever you're doing in life, including the stretching um, exercises. Okay, your feet are out. This posture, especially in this posture, you want to make sure your brakes are totally on. So bring both your feet in, your toes are in. If you bring your toes out, you might notice your feet start slipping. So you want to put your brakes on. Inhale, Jersey and I'm going to be right, that's, that's good. Okay. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms 
facing in. Clasp your palms together in any manner that you've been trained. It doesn't matter how you do it. Make sure you just make that connection. Exhale and fold from the hip. This is a great time to show you a little demo of how to use any props that you may have with you. First, we're going to try without the props. If the crown of your head is not ready to touch the floor yet today, you might want to use a foam block. So I'm going to start using it at the lowest orientation first. Keep exhaling. Now, if that's not going to work for you, it's not going to do it for you today, you're still not able to get close enough to make the connection, turn it at midpoint. Keep exhaling. And if you're really, really tired today, you just don't have the energy to go all the way down, but you still want to make the connection, move your block to the highest orientation, make that connection. Whatever you do, make sure your elbows are close to each other, and if you can bring your palms back a little bit, your elbows will close in a little more, you'll feel very nice and centered. I'm going to take this block away. I'm fine without it today. Now, please press with your palms and wiggle your feet a little closer together first till it is safe to take your palms off of the floor. Now, clasp your palms together with a nice straight back inhale and let's come up. Exhale and release. Now, once you're all the way down, your arms are all the way down, you want to wiggle your feet together and let's turn to face the camera. That transition was a very brief one. It was just two postures. One was a back bend, one was a forward bend. Before we go ahead, any response, any reaction? How did you feel? Mm. I feel really good. I felt the stretch in my lower back. You did? Very well. Especially when you have your legs out, what's happening is the sciatic nerves are getting a beautiful, beautiful stretch in the back of your legs. The hamstrings, the thick muscle in the back of your thighs, are the ones that protect the sciatic nerves in the back. So that feels a stretch as well. How did you yeah, feel? Um, when we added the block, that was great because it gives you something to push to rest your head. It really made me stretch my lower back then, like engage right. more. And you felt more secure rather than having your head suspended. Yeah. It feels much better. Absolutely. What's happening too, Jamie, is when we when we fold over, blood rushes to the head. So if you, especially if there is someone in, uh, among us uh, viewers or even among us participants, if you have a problem with high blood pressure, for example, mm. if, you, if you're not ready to make the connection with your head to the floor today and you have nothing touching your head, you're going to feel the blood rushing to your head unnecessarily high and your BP could shoot up. So that's another reason why we want that block over there. And you're right, once you have the block, mm. you've got the support, and we're not suspending our head in midair. So the blood, whatever blood rushes, there's actually refreshing you. It's not going to make you feel like your blood is blood pressure is shooting up. So that's that's a very good observation. So using the block is definitely helpful. And if it's going to work for you, use it. Don't worry. We don't encourage props, but it's okay to use them. Josiane, how do you feel? Refreshed. I you are totally crazy. We love you. But I know I know you love this posture, especially the forward fold. Josiane is very comfortable in forward oh, folds. Yes. That's why I didn't even worry about you and I was thinking, am I going to hit you? So I sort of moved away because I know you can go really deep. It feels wonderful, especially on the inside of the and thighs too. <laughs> I'm not sure about the comfortable part, but you're right. So when we are very secure, very uh, confident in our posture, it feels comfortable and you start, we start enjoying it a lot more. I'm glad you like that. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go into the third or the fourth transitional sequence. Again, this is only two postures. Let's stagger ourselves. Josian and Jamie, you may want to come forward. Talisa, let's come back. Heels are together. We're going to go into other, the posture, the forward fold we did. Some schools call it Prasarita Padottanasana. My school keeps it very simple. We call it Ugra. Ugra means fierce. I'm not sure what's so fierce about that posture, but it makes you feel good, right? We're going to go into Ardha Chandra. Ardha Chandra is half moon. Heels are together, toes are apart. We're going to do one posture into the other. Palms by your side. Now, we, no, that's fine. That was actually the next. You just jump one step ahead. Bring your palms in front of your chest. Inhale the arms up overhead and hold for just a few seconds. We are in Hasta Uttana, but the posture doesn't stop here. What we're going to do is we're going to exhale 
and we're going to sway to the right and then to the left. So we're going to exhale to the right, come back to the center, inhale, come back, exhale to the left, inhale and come back. Hi Ruth, we have a mat for you. Okay, exhale to the right. Hold that posture for just a moment. When we say hold right here in the studios, what we're talking about is to hold your posture, not your breath. Make sure you keep exhaling. In yoga, you do not want to hold your breath unless it's a specific part of your breathing sequence. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the left. When we come to the left, when we exhale to the left, you should feel a beautiful stretch in your obliques on the outside of the right part of your midriff, on the outside of the right side of your waist. I'm not even sure how to say that, but your obliques on the right side. Inhale, let's come up to the center. Exhale, release your arms, bring them in front of your chest with your palms facing down. Now, if you had your palms together, that's fine. Now, bring your palms facing down. Bring your feet out about six inches apart. We're going to transition directly into Kati Chakra. Kati Chakra is spinning wheel. So what we're going to do is we're going to exhale, extend our right arm out. Keep your hips where they are. We're just going to bring the right arm out. Inhale, bring it right back in. Then exhale to the left, bring it right back. Then we'll do it one more time, taking our hips with us and see how far that would take us. Now, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale to the right. Follow your arm with your hands. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Very nice, slow, controlled motion. You might see that we're all trying to do it at a very slow pace. It's not just for you to follow us, but also for us to enjoy the sensation because this is a very simple posture. So unless you do it very slow and controlled, you don't get the most out of it. Now this time, we're gonna take our hips with us and see how, far, how much further you go. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and release your arms by your side. Now comes Josian's favorite postures. We have five balanced postures going one after the other. You want to give it a shot? All five? All right, let's give it a try. <laughs> if folks who are stretching with us at home, if you come out of a balanced posture, it's okay. Get right back in. Over time, it gets a little easier. Talisa, you're okay? Five postures one after the other. Shall we give it a shot? I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, good. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. We're going to first go into the tree posture. Vriksh Asan. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Lift your left foot off of the floor. Take your hand from the inside of the left ankle. Hold on to your left ankle. Place your right hand on your right hip. Look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. The further ahead you look, the stronger will your gaze be and the more balanced you will feel. Place your palms very gently. Bring your palms in front of your chest. If you're ready to let go, inhale. That's all right. Come right back. Inhale. Take your arms all the way overhead. We're going to transition directly into the next one. Take your left leg behind you. Dip your torso forward. Exhale and dip. Flex your raised foot, very nice. Inhale, come out of that, very gently. Don't place your left foot on the floor just yet. If you do, bring it right back up. Right hand goes on the hip. Hold on to your left big toe with your left hand. Inhale, and let's try and extend it out in front of us. It's a little bit painful holding it for too long, so we won't do that. Very gently. Hold on to your left ankle from behind. We're going to go directly into Natrajas. And if we survive this, we're going to give ourselves a pat on the back. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your torso. <laughs> Come right back in. Look at a point that doesn't move. Inhale. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Come right back. And now for the finale. Cross your left leg, wrap it around the right calf. It's getting a little painful, I know. Next time we'll break it up a little bit. And left knee is up, right arm goes up. 
across your palm, twine your palms around and hold. Inhale, come up. <sighs> we get to put our left foot on yes, the floor. Almost done. You're amazing. Wow, no, it's, it's difficult. Yes, let's all give our We, we hang in there. We so, Is that the past tense for how? We, to hang we in there, in hung there. in there. Okay. We, we're quite tenacious in the studios. If we come out of a posture, we go right back and we give it a shot. We're not going to hold it very long. Next time we'll break it up into three and three. I know it was a real pain. I know we're calling each other names, but it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Transfer the weight, we're ready for the next one. Shall we break up the next one into three and three or shall we do continuous? It's Let's do the way you do each side. Five minutes, three less minutes? Than, less, than three minutes. less than three minutes. Kenny? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Transfer the weight to your left leg. Okay, we'll try. If we need to, we'll break it up into three and three. We've got to finish this side. So now, <clears throat> we're going to go into Vriksh Asan, the tree posture on the other side. Left hand is on the left hip. Inhale, hold on to your right big toe from the inside. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not yet. Hold on to your right ankle, attach the sole of your right foot to the inside of your upper left thigh. Keep looking ahead. Place your palms together. Inhale the palms up overhead. We're gonna exhale, dip the torso, raise the right leg behind you. Keep going or break off? Okay, let's keep going. Inhale. Please bring your arms up. Place the left hand back on your left hip before you place the right hand on the mat. Hold on to your right big toe from the inside. And inhale and extend. Sure. Take your time. No, sure. take your time. Come out of a posture. Do not give up on this yourself. Is really Go right back in. Mind expanding. <laughs> And then very gently, we're going to try and hold on to the right ankle from behind. Natrajasan. Inhale the left arm up. Let's exhale a little bit. Dip the torso. Inhale, come up. Wrap the right leg around <laughs> the left calf. Right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. Dip the left elbow over the right. And very gently release the right leg. Very nice. I think we did pretty well considering it was a very difficult transition. This girl's still I, I going. I expanded my consciousness. That's no, right. and it feels Amazing. good. But you know what, Trid? I don't think we intended to do all six. I think we were trying to finish everything, you know, pack it in. You do right, left, right, left, right, left. It traditionally do is. All of or, the right and all or, the left. No, you're right. You're right. Normally, it I wouldn't do all six. It on the same leg. It does. It does. And you're right. Maybe we should break it up next time into three yeah. and three. You're so. right. No, you're, you're right. right. I agree. Right, left, right, left, right, left. I agree so with right, you. Right, 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 right. I think we got so carried away. I don't know. You're very strong in your mind. Right. No, no, no. I don't normally do all six. I do yeah. three and three. But I knew we were short of time. So I wanted to finish. At least I'm trying. I mean, I will always Exactly. Even if you come out, you went right back in. So that was great. And I forgot to thank you, Kenny. It's all your fault.